I'm not sure if you can hear my neighbour right now, but I definitely can. I always wonder what my camera will actually pick up versus what I can hear. So I apologise if that's really noisy. I might actually wait a minute and see if they stop. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I don't know how long I've got silence for before my neighbour starts mowing the lawn or doing something again. So I'm just going to ram it all out and we'll get onto the time lapse. So in today's video I'm going to be prepping this gorgeous piece. So it might look like nothing that special but you can see all these crushed ammonites here and these are the ammonites with the beautiful kind of red iridescent shells. God that's kind of a tongue twister. Red iridescent shells. There we go. So when the seawater was running over these I could see all their beautiful colours and now that they're home and have dried out they don't look that impressive like this but I think with a little little bit of paraloid these are going to be beautiful so I'm going to flip my camera over and we can take a look. So this is the piece before I put any paraloid on it um, so these aren't actually that fragile these ammonites so I'm hoping that my thin paraloid solution that I've made will be perfect just to give them a little bit of a varnish so let's paint it on and see what colours are in these. Okay so I'm going to start with the big one. I was going to time lapse this but I don't think it'll take too long so you're just going to have to deal with me a bit longer. So I'm going to try and be careful because I don't want to like over draw these too much. So this one is looking brown which is fine. <laughs> I think they're all kind of within the red spectrum so and it might be that they're just the salt water just gleamed with the sunshine to make them look more red than they actually were. that piece. Let's do this one. A bit too much of my brush. And I know there's loads within this rock because I can see them under the layers, like there's one there. Got that one. Give this one a bit of love. And then last one is this one here. Let's give this one a bit of highlight. Just like that. So I think I've got them all. That was lovely and easy. Oh, and now my neighbour decides to stop. Typical. Right. So I thought I'd show you a more up close version of them. So these ones are more of a brown in the shell. So I don't know if the shell has changed colour since I brought it back from the beach. I mean this one's still got some of a red tinge to it. But um, I have got some more specimens that I need to prep so I will film those as well. But I mean this piece has turned out beautiful. I just thought I would give you guys kind of a quick little prep video because I know it's always fun to see how they turn out because you just never know. I mean there's quite a lot in this piece. Like you can see that one hiding just trying to escape <laughs> but that's quite a lovely one that's on top of it so I don't want to flick off any layers just in case I ruin that one. Oh, it's gone out of focus there you go so no it's a beautiful piece and I could lift this off at another point to see what's underneath but I think for now I'm just going to leave it as it is because I think it's just beautiful I think they've turned out really really lovely so that's today's video. I just thought I would take you along on this quick little prep. Oh, when they catch the light, I just like lifted it up and they look gorgeous. Like I don't know if I can get it. My ca I'm filming on my phone. I know, terrible because a few videos back you might have heard. Yeah, I dropped my camera for those of you that don't know, but it's getting fixed. So it will be back. But um, for now, we're just having to deal with my phone, which isn't terrible, but it might not be like giving these justice. But I hope it does. Can you see they're kind of iridescent? But there's a lot in this piece. I, I think that's turned out pretty snazzy, actually. Like, I mean, this one's gorgeous. I'm happy. I'm happy with this one. Very easy prep. Lovely colours in there. And I mean, this, like, on a stand in a house will look really lovely, I think. So, um, 
no, very tough with that one. So that's today's video. Let me know what you thought of this lovely medium-sized fossil. I was going to say little, but it's really not that little, is it? Um, but I hope you're doing well. My Instagram will be down below if you have an Instagram and would like to be fossil friends. Don't know if that's a thing. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more, and hopefully I'll see you next time.